What's up, everybody? This is Terminator Juice. Sorry for the terrible mic quality, but I'm recording this on my tablet because my other camera and the battery was dead. So this is going to be a video video building upon Meza T's latest video, my video about the controller prices, and also Leveled Head's video about double standards. And yeah, so people keep saying it's like the go-to thing to complain about the Switch when talking about the Pro Controller stuff, when I proved that the price wasn't an issue. Well, well, the Joy-Cons, uh, they don't have a proper D-pad, so you have to buy a, a Switch Pro Controller if you want to play 2D platformers or a 2D fighter. You can't do it with the, uh, the Joy-Cons. Just any serious fighting fan or platforming fan isn't going to want to play on those. So here's my question. What the fuck is this thing? What? Look at this. What is this? This is not a proper D-pad. It's garbage. This was your only option on the Xbox 360. You had to play with this or this. that, Or buy a fight stick. So how the hell can you say that those directional buttons, uh, without using them, aren't proper or aren't playable for a 2D fighter or a platformer? When you had this shit. Look at this thing. How many, how many people did complain about this? You had no other option. You didn't even have an alternative. So shut the fuck up on that one. Um, this thing's better. But still, this is not a proper D-pad. At least these kind of move in the way a D-pad does. But this isn't a proper D-pad. You know, I'm, I'm going to play my fighting game with this or platformers with this. Over this, I mean, yeah, this is way better than the Xbox 360, but this isn't a proper D-pad. And it's, I mean, a little bit better on the DualShock 4, but it's basically the same concept. And you didn't have an alternative. You didn't have another way to play. There wasn't a controller with a proper D-pad on the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, the Xbox 360. Now, the Xbox One, that does have a good D-pad because the patent ran out for Nintendo on the D-pad. Oops. So this does have a good clicky D-pad. So yeah, you could play with this. At least the Xbox One controller, which, mind you, this was 60 some dollars with the, uh, the wireless adapter. Um, but other than that, all last gen, you couldn't play with damn proper D-pad unless you had a Nintendo system. So it's just one of those Double standards, it's hypocrisy. Last gen you got all these fools were okay with with that. And for some reason, okay with this. Like this is a disgrace for a D-pad. So so all that stuff was good back then, but it's not cool now. Nintendo gives you an option. It's an option, it's not required. I'm gonna wait to play uh fighting games and platformers. Uh, with the Joy-Con directional pad, directional buttons, before I decide. So it's just going to be dependent on how it works. I'm not going to judge it till I play it. Let's say hi to Lucina. What's up? Let's say hi to both Samuses. And that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to go watch the Super Bowl. See you guys later.